Hello everyone, my name is Missy Maddie and I am back with another building tutorial. Today I will teach you how to create this candy cane cottage that you see behind me here. But first, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the support on my gothic mansion tutorial that I posted last week. If you do enjoy what you see here, please be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft videos from me. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Thanks for watching! Okay everyone, so we're going to get straight into things today. So we're first going to want to work on the foundation of the build and to do this we're going to create a 21 by 21 square using these crimson, uh, stripped crimson um, stems or crimson logs and we're going to um, place them on um, so we're going to have three blocks in between just empty and we're going to place a stem on every third block we're going to do this so that there are five um, gaps so that should equate to 21 one two three four five yep so it should look something like that and then we're going to move on to the other um, axis, I guess. I don't really know what it's called. I failed maths. So, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Bang. I think we've got one more to go. One, two, three. And so it should look squarish like that. And then you're just going to continue on with that um, missing three pattern. So, you should have something that looks just like this. These pink stems um, with gaps of three in between them creating a 21 by 21 square. You are then going to want to bring all of these stems so that they are four blocks high in total and just do that to all of them. I'm just gonna do this off camera to save time because nobody wants to sit here for ages. You get a sore ass, I know I always do. I need to get a better gaming chair to be honest but I'm poor so so once you've brought all your stems up so that they are four blocks high, you're then going to want to create um, sort of like an oak plank uh, ground, which is going to be three above ground level. I'm sorry if I explained that poorly, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, it's going to be 19 by 19, um, a 19 by 19 block square. Um, so basically you're just going to run oak blocks or oak planks um, all around the inner perimeter of the uh, sort of crimson stem foundation that you just created, just like this. Um, and then you're going to bring that up so it is three blocks high in total. Um, I am using a little bit of world edit as always to um, save time for both myself and for anyone at home watching. Um, World Edit is amazing, I'll never stop using it. So we're going to go up one, two, three. Um, I'm just gonna... If anyone wants a World Edit tutorial, I'd be happy to do it as well. Um, and the command for that would be slash slash walls, and I believe it's just five planks. So you immediately get your walls up. It is a 19 by 19 square and it is three blocks high and it sits in the inner perimeter of the 21 by 21 foundation square that we just made using the crimson stems. And then you're going to just want to fill that in, um, fill the top in with um, 
more oak planks. So I'm just going to go set five and it's going to make sort of like a, a ground level and that's what our house is going to sit on top of. So we're basically, well we're almost done with our foundation. The next thing you're going to want to do is fill all of your gaps in with upside down stairs just like this and it's going to create a sort of um, beveled edge. Hold on, I've just got to go murder some bats or otherwise it's going to drive us all mad. And you're going to do that the whole way around and basically we're going to have a crimson fence sit on top of the upside down stairs just so um, monsters can't get in. Yep, so it should be looking something like that. As I said, we're going to go in with some crimson fence. I don't think this build is very um, survival friendly to be honest, um, but it is cool in um, creative or if you're anything like me, you can build your house in creative and then switch to survival. Yeah, I'm a cheater, what can I say? So we've basically got our foundation done. The only thing left to do is create our stairway and so you basically want to decide which way you want your house to face and then once you've done that you'll want to sort of look to the left, no sorry the right, I don't really know my left and right either. Um, <laughs> so you want to go to the right of the um, foundation and then in the second gap from the edge here, so this one here, you're going to want to smash out all that we've done here and create a little stairway. Fairly basic stuff using the um, oak planks and oak stairs. Voila! Your foundation is done. So once you've got your foundation in place we're now going to start work on the um, framing or detailing for the actual house. So to do that we're going to want to count one, two from the um, sort of left edge of your house and then you're going to want to count back from the front one, two, three blocks and um, basically once you've got one, two on the edge here and one, two, three from the front here you're going to want to count up nine tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And that is the start of our house. We're then going to do something very similar. We're going to um, create oak, stripped oak posts um, with gaps of three in the um, in between them. So we're going to count one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to do that so it creates um, a 9 by 13 sort of rectangle. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. So basically you should end up with three stripped oak posts at the front towards the left here. And then we're going to go in with four stripped oak posts towards the side. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, still keeping our... Um, gaps of three as we go and um, in terms of the uh, house's relationship to the foundation it should be two blocks out just like that one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine and then when we get to the back it should be one two three blocks from the edge of the foundation and that's when we know that it's time to sort of turn onto the back wall. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to do the side wall. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So you should have a rectangle that is comprised of three stripped oak posts at the front and four on the sides, creating, I think it is a 9 by 13 rectangle um, overall. And then we're basically going to want to count one in 
and we're going to use um, terracotta, just natural terracotta. Um, it's probably my favorite block to work with. And we're going to run that around sort of the inner perimeter of the um, foundation that we just made, just like so. And then using a little bit of world edit to speed things up, we're going to fill in those interior walls with terracotta. And it should look something like this. The command would be walls 172. And voila! We've got pretty much the main house done. So the next thing we're going to work on is a sort of side room, which is like a half height room, entrance bay, whatever you like. And to do that, we're basically going to want to create a, um, let me see, a seven by nine sort of squarish shape. And, um, oops, sorry. Um, and you'll want to count that um, so that it sort of runs backwards by one. So you'd have one terracotta block and then you would count seven. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you've done it right, there should be um, two blocks uh, in between this outer wall and the perimeter of the foundation. You're then going to count back nine, including this front block here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that should line up again with that sort of block right there. Um, cool. So we're then going to bring that whole sort of shape up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Again, it's almost half height of the main house structure just to give a little bit more dimension to the overall build and eventually this is going to create a nice um, slanted roof to house our candy canes. I love candy canes. I love it when it's Christmas time because candy canes are just like rife. Oh, I love them so much. But anyway, you should end up with something that looks like this. Just ignore those posts in the middle. In fact, I think we can take them out. Like, they won't be in the final build. So don't worry about them. Um, just the center ones, like the middle two. The ones that intersect with the actual room. Just leave the front ones. Um, the only other thing we need to do for this uh, side room is we're going to smash out these corners here just to sort of bevel it in with this texture pack that I'm using. Um, the terracotta um, has a really nice dark oak sort of framing to it, which creates a lot more dimension and makes it look really cool in my opinion. So we're going to do that. Um, we are then going to take some crimson fence and we're going to go back to our main house and we count up four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And on that fourth block, we're just going to, so not the fifth, the fourth above ground. And we're going to run a crimson fence perimeter around the entirety of the build, including this, um, including this side room here. Just like that. Just like that. And then you're going to want to take, um, we're going to make some little flower beds. So we're going to get some crimson trapdoors, um, some grass blocks, and also some flowers of your choosing. It can be anything, it doesn't really matter. You're going to run your dirt or grass blocks into these gaps at the front here and place some crimson trapdoors to make a sort of planter box type thing. Um, for the flowers, I like a combination of these daisies, ox eye daisies, I think I'm saying that right. I'm better at reading than I am at maths, but still average at both. So, um, yeah, just a sort of natural looking thing. One thing that I really like doing is, um, facing my build towards the sun so that I can put a sunflower in there but I forgot to do that in this tutorial so I'm just going to go in with I think a large fern just like that. So now that we've got our planter boxes in we're going to start work on our door frame 
And to do this, you're going to want to count one, two, three, and in this sort of, um, I guess, block four from this main build, you're going to want to smash in a one by two shape. And then with some stripped oak logs, you're going to want to bring um, up two posts just like that. And you can cut out the, um, the crimson fence on your way up, just so that it looks something like this. Um, and then we're going to grab a door. You can use any door. I'm going to use a crimson door because this build is very pink and like in your face. So, <laughs> um, I'm also going to add a little lantern, um, just like so. The next thing we're going to do is cut in our windows. And I'm going to be using um, this really cute yellow stained paint for this build. Um, you don't have to do this. Uh, I just really like how it looks in this particular texture pack. And the windows basically sit um, the block directly above the uh, crimson fence that we added. It's one by three and it's technically, I guess, on block five of the build. And you basically just do that around, oops, the, we'll just do it on the back wall, just leaving the sides because we'll have to put a staircase on this um, wall anyway, so there's not much point in putting windows there. Um, so yeah, we've got our, pretty much the main house done. So we're now going to start work on the roof. Um, so you're going to want to fly to the side to, of your build or, you know, walk, I don't know. <laughs> um, and you're going to place a row of, um, we're going to be using smooth quartz uh, stairs, blocks and slabs for the roof to create a sort of like frosting look. Um, and we're basically going to run um, a row of stairs all around the perimeter. I find it a little bit easier to fill in these um gaps with uh, quartz, the smooth quartz, just to make it a little bit easier. I don't want to smash that one out though. Um, and the roofing pattern that we're going to follow for the whole thing is we're going to go one steer, one full block, one steer, one full block, one steer, one full block, up, one steer, one full block up and you're basically going to do that on both sides until you meet this sort of middle um, post here um, if you want you can mark that in oh whoops you can mark that middle piece in with some terracotta just like that so you know sort of where to stop and basically you just follow that pattern along the entire um, sides. When you reach the center peak of your roof, um, you're basically going to want to um, do one full uh, block of quartz on top, just like this, and run that all the way along. We'll come back to this in just a sec, and then you can start on the other side and do the exact same thing that we just did. I'm just gonna run this along in here to make it a little bit easier and we're going to go in with our stairs and our um, steer one block steer one block pattern my goal is to try and um, get a bit better at explaining the building process because I feel like I just ramble on so I am sorry about that I'm trying to get better but like I'm taking actual notes and stuff now but <laughs> Yeah, there's still a long way to go. So to anyone building this at home, I, I do apologize. <laughs> so we now have the very basic shape of our roof. The next thing we're going to want to do is um, fill in our this sort of gap that we've created with terracotta. Very simple stuff, You're just going to fill in this gap. All the way up just like that. 
so that it looks something like this. We're going to then go to the back of our build and do the exact same thing, filling in this gap. Just like so. So we're now going to want to grab some stripped oak logs and you want to follow along very carefully with this. So we're going to place some stripped oak logs just like there. Um, and from there you're going to want to count up one. You're going to place one directly next to those. You're going to count up three. You're going to place blocks directly next to those and you're going to count up two and then you're going to count up you're going to place a block directly against that and you're going to count up one you're going to smash out those blocks that are facing towards you and you should be left with a shape that looks something like this sort of like um a long circle an oval if you like and then once you've got that shape, you're going to smash in a little cross in the middle, just like that. We're then going to take some smooth quartz stairs and place those upside down, just like so. Just sort of bevel it in a little bit more. Um, and we'll just go in there because we don't see it anyway. The top one will have an upside down um, smooth quartz stair, just like that. And in this gap place two and you'll end up with something like this um, in this little cross thing that we made we're going to put in some glass again I'm using yellow stained glass panes you can use anything you like and that is basically the roof um, done I'm going to show you well not done we've still got a wee bit to do but I'm going to show you that again because it is a little bit tricky so we're going to place one two blocks facing outwards just like that against this post we're going to count up one just like that directly against that we're going to place some more blocks sticking out towards us we're going to count up three one two three one two three we're then going to place some blocks sticking out towards us like that. Count up two. Place another sticking out just like that. And count up two. Technically it's one, but um, we don't see that block anyway. You can go in and remove the blocks that are facing out towards you now. Just like that. Cut in our little cross in the center. We'll put in our glass. And then again, we're going to take our smooth quartz stairs and place them upside down in these gaps to sort of bevel in the roof, thicken it up and make it look a little bit um, more structural, I guess. I don't really know. I just think it looks better. You don't have to really do it if you don't like. So we now have something like this. There is a little bit left to do on this part of the roof. So you want to fly up to the roof. We're going to be creating some swirls. So you're going to want to place um, a full block of smooth quartz right at the end here with um, smooth quartz stairs on top of those. You're then going to take some crimson fences and run that all the way along just like so. So we've sort of finished off the top, we're now going to create our big frosting swirls. Um, and to do that, you're going to want to get two smooth quartz, full smooth quartz blocks and place them on the back of the stairs, just like that. Um, you're then going to get uh, a, a smooth quartz stair and place it against this block, a full block underneath that. Um, an upside down stair um, underneath that full block we've just placed and then an upside down stair um, against the back of that upside down stair we just placed and then the last thing to do is add an upside down stair in this corner piece just like that and it creates a really cute Minecraft swirl um, I'll show you again because it is a little bit trickier so we're going to go two full blocks of quartz 
an upright um, smooth quartz steer with a full block underneath and an upside down quartz steer underneath that with an upside down quartz steer on the back of that and an upside down quartz steer in the sort of corner there and we will now have something that looks like this very cute very fantasy I always do these swirls so if you watch any of my other videos you'll be familiar with those um, we are now going to add in our little um, lanterns at the front here and that's really simple we're just going to go in with a fence piece um, directly above the window we're going to get some chains and some yellow lanterns not the sole lanterns we want this to be nice and warm and cottagey and we're going to put one chain attached to this fence with a lantern hanging underneath so it's starting to come together we now need to start work on the roof to the side um, now this is very similar it's the same pattern we're going to be using our smooth quartz steers and our just smooth quartz block and this time we're going to be facing the roof the slant of the roof going um, facing the front of the build so like this and we are basically we'll just leave those posts for now we'll come back to them um, and we are going to run Again, it's the um, one steer, one block, one steer, one block pattern. When you get to these corner pieces, just sort of indent it back like this and follow the same pattern. The only difference is you want to bring this out by two so that it sort of rests um, one block over the wall, if that makes sense. So just like that. Sorry, I'm, I am really trying to get better at explaining all of this, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so just again follow that same pattern when you get to the main roof just connect them up um, like so and they should um, if you've done it right they should sort of organically connect to the main roof you shouldn't have to um, think about it too much again with these um, sort of the side bit here it'll be two blocks in You may want to um, make a little terracotta tower to mark the center of your roof where the um, peak will be. That can make it a little bit easier to follow sometimes. So I'm going to do that just to avoid confusion. So we've got the front part of the roof sort of done, I suppose. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the back. So we'll be left with something like this. Um, for the side, we're going to want to fly around and fill in this gap here. With terracotta, sorry. Um, just like so. And then we're going to grab some smooth quartz stairs and place them upside down to thicken up the edge of the roof. Sort of like we did on the main one. Just like that. We don't need to add too much detail. I did make a mistake here though. It's really like that. Okie dokie, so the next thing to do is add in our little door shelter. Um, it sort of protrudes out from the build a little bit. So we're going to smash these stripped oak posts here and replace them with smooth quartz blocks running like that. Um, we're then going to place an upright smooth quartz block at the front there and two facing sideways attached to it like so. We're then going to add um, another upright um, steer with the same two facing to the side and you'll end up with something that looks like that if you like um, you can smash out this one here to make it look a little more hollow um, so we're now going to want to go inside the build to sort of fill out the little gaps that we've left I'm put some torches you see what I mean these gaps on the side here um, 
I won't be showing how to do the interior today. Um, if you guys want to see that, do leave a comment. But um, yeah, I think interiors are sort of builder's choice. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in seeing that, let me know and I can make a tutorial on that. And it does look a little bit awkward at the moment. So we're then going to add in um, a block, a quartz block at the edge there with a um, upright stair going like that. We're going to go in with our crimson fences. You want to cut this stair here out and replace it with a full block just so the fence sort of finishes a little bit neater. Um, it'll look a little bit like this. Um, and then we're going to create our side swirl as I mentioned earlier. Um, we place two full blocks of quartz, an upright stair, one block of quartz, an upside down stair with an upside down stair on the back and an upside down stair in the corner there. And there you have it, your wee um, sort of side swirl is complete. So we've finally made it to the fun part of the build and this is where you can get a little bit creative and do what you like and we're going to be adding our candy cane features to the top slanted roof here. So for that I'm going to be using um, three different coloured concrete blocks. You can use whatever colours you like. I'm using pink, yellow and lime. So um, the candy canes are really important um, to get the alternations right, otherwise um, you can pretty much do what you want. So you start with um, your quartz and you're going to count up six. So we've got quartz and then you alternate it with whatever colour you're using. Quartz, pink, quartz, pink. And once that is six, one, two, Six, yep, so we're six blocks high. Um, you're going to want to grab some quartz stairs and place it upright on this colored block. You really, it's really important that you finish the, the point with a colored block. You then add in another colored block with um, stairs branching outwards, just like that. Colored block underneath with a stair on the bottom. And there you have your first candy cane. Um, you can make these as long as you want really, like you could even smash this one out to be pink, make it extra long. So I think we're going to do a yellow um, candy cane next. So we're going to start it here, one along, we're going to go yellow, quartz, yellow, quartz, yellow, make it a little taller, yellow. And this time I think we're going to face it towards the left. So the, like the, the curve of the candy cane. So we're going to go one, steer, yellow, steer, yellow, and steer. And it looks something like that. Um, the last one I'm actually going to build over... Um, right here in the middle here you don't have to add another one you can put as many as you like really but um yeah i like three and this is going to be the tallest of them so one yeah lime, lime, lime. i'm sorry i hope this makes sense i just yeah i'm not very good at explaining as i've mentioned for like the billionth time and we'll face this one towards the right i think um, we'll put our steer, our lime, our steer, our lime, and then again we'll go the steer. So, there we have it. That is the candy cane cottage built. So that is the end of today's tutorial for my candy cane cottage. I really hope you enjoyed it and definitely give it a like if you did or leave a comment if you're going to attempt it at home. I really hope my tutorial was possible to follow. I know I rambled on a little bit but anyway don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!